If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Hello everyone and welcome back to another stream. I didn't get free enough, free early enough today to play in the Professor Oaks tournament. Um, I'm sure some of you will be playing and I hope you do really really well So that means we're gonna have a variety of decks being played in today's stream First off is yesterday's winner from the Hexter tournament The CDY Obstagoon Malmar, Black and Dale Luis, thanks so much for resubscribing with Twitch Prime Thank you so so much for the support Alex, thanks so much for being here This is not pre-recorded Malamar, no Um if it was pre-recorded, like on Twitch, nothing is ever pre-recorded, yeah? If it was a rerun, you would have a notification in the title saying it's a rerun, but this is not a rerun. This is live. Today is 3rd of September, 6.44 p.m. Central. Bernard Droid, thanks so much for being here as well. So yesterday's tournament was won by the CDI Obstagoon, um, the closest to stall that um, we will get, I guess, in the current format as it stands right now, um, with no more Belilba and whatnot. But um, obviously the CDI is a pain in the butt to deal with for a lot of decks with its ability dip for his camo, which can't be attacked by Pokemon V or Pokemon GX, and the splitting arrow attack can pile up the damage over the course of a few turns, especially when you're not being damaged at all. And next up we have Obstagoon, which actually this is wrong, it should be like this. Yeah, 4 to 4 with a 2 1 line, only 2 1 obstacle, but you do have the ability to attack with it, use obstruct, 290 damage, and you during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to his Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. So this can wall some decks uh, completely, such as Speaker Room, such as ADP Station, such as Baby Blounds. So it's definitely a good card to have. And then we have a bunch of supporters to set up. We have Research, we have Rosa, we have Marnie, we have our Quick Balls and Pokecoms to find our Pokemon. We have Jirachi and we have Fion. Yeah, Fion can help set up some nice math with the Splitting Arrow, um, not over KOing some stuff in the active spot. And of course we have the big parcels, which were the big revelation yesterday. Um, as long as this, as long as the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon down to all of your Pokemon. Uh, down to all of your Pokemon, so... Um, so for example, you can't be paralyzed by Raichu if you have Big Parasol. Your energy can't be returned to hand by Intel and VMAX if you have Big Parasol. So actually a pretty cool uh, tool to have in this particular deck. And um, if we can make it so that the only Pokemon we have in place is an Obstagoon or a Decidui through um, Scope of Nets, then it should be pretty hard for an opponent to finish or close out the game. So we're gonna go give the Desigun deck a try right here. And then I still have that pending Firebox deck. I have the Antillian VMAX, the Spirit Tomb. I have a, a spicy Flygun GX deck um, that I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in. Um, I saw it being played by a Japanese player at like their local league challenge and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I figured why not try and showcase it. So we're up against a fire deck where the weakness card energies should prove useful. And you absolutely dominated your opponent playing ADP with Pigram in your first round, Alex. Very nice, congratulations. I'm glad your tournament started off better than the others have. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, my friend, in the tournament. Really hoping you get that good, that good finish tonight, I really do. Alrighty, so we get the big parasol right off the bat. 
I'm gonna start with a Stella Wish. No energy attachment for me, and hello, Jamie boy. My day is going pretty well, thank you. How about yours? No way for me to get energy on this particular turn. Um, if we're up against Senti Scorch, then I don't think Obstagon will be very useful at all. Do need to find those weakness guard energies as quickly as we can, right? And there is the possibility that Jirachi could go down, but I'm gonna wing it for now. Oh yeah, the change, oh, the view deck, I forgot. And I was thinking before I started the stream, yeah, I'll, I'll decide what deck and I'll upload, I'll update the, the thing and I forgot. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I will definitely do it after this game. Thank you so much for reminding me. Hey, Steven, how are you doing? Uh, Bernard, do you like the video list I showcased the other day? You built it in real life and it was all against your friend. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome, Bernard Droid. Alex is playing uh, basically that list or very close to it um, in, in the tournament happening tonight. And it, Pikram got top eight at yesterday's biggest online tournament, so I think it's a it could be a, an interesting call for you, you know? or an interesting call moving forward. Perhaps Pikram is not dead after all. Okay, so we still don't know what we're up against. We still do not know what we're up against, other than there's a bunch of Volcanians right now. Well, did I see a Sentry Scorch actually with a Pokecom? I did, right? For sure I did see a Scent Scorch of the Pokecom. So my opponent powers up energies. I wake up, not that that matters at all. Get a fairly useless top deck. And I'm definitely gonna have to research here. All right, well, I mean, that's as good as it gets, right? So I'm gonna do this, discard the this. I Not attaching energy on turn one is actually going to be pretty detrimental to us. Um, so I'm gonna put the one damage counter here. I'll put the big parcel on this guy and I'll evolve. And then I'll just put back the Decidio Eye with this. And we'll go ahead and research. I really, really, really need to find an energy. Okay, that's good. That's a good energy to find. Uh, I'll go ahead and attach. Hope my opponent doesn't have boss's orders. That would be ideal and simply pass here. I could switch, but switching won't help me find weakness card energy. There's actually no way for me to search for the weakness card energy. And hello, Yeet Dog, everything's going well. Thank you, how about yourself? Well, <laughs> of course he has the boss's orders. If one of the two he plays, when he hasn't played a single supporter, he's only third change and he still has over 30 cards. That's the reason why I lost a round last night. Like that just keeps happening to me over and over and over. And it's very annoying. Like the game's not over yet by any means, but it's just so annoying. They play two bosses orders and they always have it early on versus me, always, no exceptions. Okay, uh, still wish doesn't get me <laughs> anything useful. Um, all right, so I will get this, I guess at least and i'll just go ahead and pass yeah so my button now needs to worry about setting up senti scorch as well and maca you find me to a difficult matchup for adpc any suggestions um big charm helps big charm helps so that you can survive the 300 hits maca um other than that I don't think there's any way around the Mew 3 matchup, but I'm hoping that they can't get the attack off. Um, one of the best ways, I guess, is to play Chaotic Swells to stop their giant hearts and stop their discard, but even that's not always useful. Um, you all rerun two, but six again is the same. Yeah, six again is definitely a thing, but there's no, there's literally nothing else you can actually do, unfortunately. There's nothing else you can actually do. Okay, so off of this Rosam, we're gonna grab the Dark Energy, which we know is in here. We're gonna grab a Rowlet, and we are going to grab, what? 
I don't kill the active, so I messed up the damage. Well, I guess I don't need to kill the active. Um, I also survive a hit, which is nice. So what trainer do I want? I have Rose, I have Candy, maybe I want Quick Wall. Just for a double Rowlet and further, um, further deck thinning, I guess. So I'll grab the CGI. But what do I discard? I guess this switch is my discard here. Uh, yeah, I'll grab the double Rowlet. So I'll do this and then. I'll bench these guys. If he plays boss orders, then so be it. And then we'll just obstruct. All right, so we put a little help on my opponent. Um, how does Mewtwo deal with Eternatus? Mock and all and mock. Yeah. This matchup is out of loss for Desigo until Gataloco. Yeah, I would imagine so. Even the, the discard my dark energy is pretty bad, right? Even discarding my dark energy is already pretty bad. Um... Yeah, my opponent just has the evolution right there immediately. He has played zero supporters and he's had everything he needs every single turn. <laughs> With a sing off of a single DNA. Every single thing he's needed, every single thing, every single thing he has been able to get. And on top of things, I get to Marty him. <laughs> On top of things, I get to Marty. And I don't find energy. Alright, yeah, so... My luck that we run into the immediate out of loss. Plus, my opponent just having everything, every single turn, magically, which always happens against me. As you might have seen in all my videos, and I still forgot to upload, to update the decklist viewer, because I'm tilted that they always have everything, so... Oh well. <laughs> Uh, I think I want to choose to go second because this deck definitely like it requires a lot of setup. So, well, that's not a great hand going second. How? I mean, I'm never a big fan of these sort of decks. If they play a counter, you lose, which is exactly what happened the previous game. Um, if they don't play a counter, then you don't lose. But. <laughs> Well, I guess we're just, it's just not our day, you know? I guess it is simply not our day today with this deck. Not a big fan of this strategy. Um, like I said, if they play counters, you immediately lose. If they don't, then maybe you win, but it's, it's not good in my opinion. It's just not good. Double Volcanian, what are you gonna do? Yeah, two matches, two Volcanian decks. EMT, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing. All right, well, I don't think I can get rid of my two grass energy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass. And Burning Blades again, thank you so much for the follow as well. Para los taquitos, muchas gracias, MC2, muchas gracias. With Picaron being a free card on the current ladder, do you see some use for it in Expanded at the moment? Uh, yeah, Picaron will always be a decent deck in Expanded Atlas. Picaron will always be a decent deck. Like, tag teams with Max Elixir, that's a recipe for brokenness. So I think my opponent just realized I attached the weakness card energy. And Sir With, thanks so much for the follow as well. Yeah, another fire matchup. Like, what are you gonna do, right? Wow, my opponent just discards. The Senti Scorch, two Senti Scorches. So maybe I can win off with Obstacle now. <laughs> um, okay, definitely gonna switch out here. Then we're gonna do this and then go ahead and research. Okay. Really think about Obstacle in the CDI decks. Well, that's exactly, exactly what we are playing TPS. And it won yesterday's tournament, so it must be decent at the very least, right? Must be decent at the very least. Um, still not a fan, but must be some sort of like decent, you know? And yes, when I finish, I will, I will update the deck list viewer. I just I keep forgetting, yeah. 
Yeah, the the deck overlay hasn't changed. I know. Oh my god, they always have it. They always have it at the right time. What the heck? They played two. They played two. They always have it. Oh my god, it's already a bad matchup, and they just drop perfectly. <laughs> what the heck? All right, uh, I'm gonna update the deck list viewer right now. Right now. Let's upload it. Maca VGC, thank you so much for stopping by. Let's give this deck one more try. But I don't like playing this sort of decks. And because they just have a counter and then you die. They have a counter and then you die. Hey, Oscar, hola, muchas gracias. Y MC2, ese acento no es de Chilango. <laughs> no sé qué decirte. Mi acento siempre me lo han criticado mucho. Um, es mi acento. <laughs> no sé de dónde salió mi acento. Eh, acento español o argentino, no sé. La verdad es que no, no sé. No sé. No sé qué decirte. Ok, so. I'm done with this deck. Like, this deck. How does this deck even win? How? How does this deck even win? I want my opponent to get six. Six a good drops on me. So I just die. And avoid the, the conceding button. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I mean, that's the real. This is this is the reality of the deck, right? If they have a counter, you lose. If they don't, you win. And the past three games, my opponents have had counters. And then you factor in off the god awful hands that I get a lot of the time, and then. You get this recipe for disaster. Yeah. So I still stand by my statement the Ciroa is a crap card. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. So we'll go ahead and still wish. So goodbye the Ciroa, not the end of the world. Uh, since I'm gonna research anyways, I might as well get another Stella Wish off after I research. <sighs> alright. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So let's definitely search for another Rowlet. And then let's thin our deck. And then we Stella Wish, cause once again, my hand is dead. <laughs> Therefore, I mean, obviously I want this, but then I'd be getting rid of my other two dead eyes and I'm out of the Zero eyes, so I won't even be able to play it, but sure, I'll grab it. <laughs> I out of win. I don't think I out of win. He has six agons, he has hoopas, he might have. Uh, spirit tombs. He might have more than one Koopa. I've seen Liz play four Koopas. Like, I wouldn't say I just immediately out of win. Nico Bianchi, thanks so much for the follow. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn two. Turn two. Three scoop up nets. You just start with them. Turn two, you just start with three, three, um, three scoop of nets, right? It's simple. Like, why don't you always do that? It's so simple. It's, it really is that simple, right? <laughs> okay, my opponent was playing so fast that I imagine he didn't get it. Well, never mind. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get another quick pull or the fourth scoop of net. Yeah, immediately plays it. <laughs> Turbo patches as well. Okay, it does seem like if we knock out this one Koopa, we win the game. So we'll see if we can manage this. So far, we haven't been able to do much. Okay, well, that's a good top deck. <sighs> that's a good top deck.
Excadrill gang. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stowish. Bird candy. Okay, so my bow will probably boss KO, right? They haven't discarded a single boss, so they're just gonna boss KO this guy. That's okay because that leaves this guy untouched. Get the dark tricks, which feel like wasted space in the deck. And then, okay. Best case scenario, we don't get bosses orders and attacked. And then the Jirachi just dies and we go boss and attack into the Hoopa. That's the dream. That is the absolute dream here. If we can do that, maybe we can win. Because that's the only pull that can damage the c 2 ISO right now. That can damage me. This can, but it's not a threat, right? 30 damage is no big deal. That can damage me too. Not a lot. Okay, there's a pierce, so we're good. I think we're good. We are good, I hope. Thanks to the initiative of the boss. You know, thanks to the initiative of the boss. And I'm not even gonna bother with Dark Tricks. I'm just gonna straight up work candy into the the Decidue you know? All right. So my opponent has retreat, so it's no point. I 100% just need to do this. And we'll do the damage to this Hubao. Oh, this guy's KO'd actually, because he's weak. Because he's weak to um, to grass. I forgot about that. Does Eternatus even benefit from Evolve GX? No, not at all. Not at all. It's better to just play energy switches. And someone was telling me on my Instagram today after I shared my list that um, that I should be playing a 1-1 Weavile instead of two energy switches, which I wholeheartedly disagree with. Okay, let's see another Hoopa. No other Hoopa, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. So my opponent will be able to transfer one energy, two energies. He'll hit me for 80, right? Perfectly fine. As long as I find two energies, I'm going to be okay. Uh, we'll see a Sableye. Sableye can't get the Hoopa back. It can only get trainers back. What do I think about Intillion V, Satoshi? It's a decent card, but I feel like it's a little underpowered compared to um, compared to like Sentiscorch or compared to Eternatus, compared to Mew3. Um, and P with Pigram all of a sudden getting talked about again, um, I'm not the biggest fan of Intillion. Oh wow, he actually decides to reach reeks when that's that's just bad because now I can put the 20 here and now he's in range of my 90 damage. And what? What's his deck's answer to Duraldon? It doesn't have well Obstagoon. Quicksilver, Obstagoon is the answer. <laughs> Obstagoon is the answer. Okay, I'm not even I I'm just gonna research. I'm not gonna bother with the rest of these Pokemon at all. I just need to find energy, and energy is what I find. You know? So now I'll go splitting arrow, 20 here. Uh, my opponent is now down to a single scoop up net. So I guess damaging six seconds for the future is a good call. For an eventual situation where I can get an extra price off of that. Just to try and win a little bit faster. Decides to power up six again. I mean, he can move the energy anywhere he wants, so it's not a big deal. I don't understand why my opponent didn't attack me though. Like he, he, if he had mind shocked last turn, he would have um, knocked out my Decidui this turn. And if I don't find energy, then maybe he can finish me up, right? And why would you not power up the one that's already damaged? I don't know. Yeah. So if they have a counter, you lose. If they don't have a counter, you win. That's what this deck is all about. I don't like that play style. I think it's it's not a great way to play, but you can uh, find some unexpected opponents or a whole tournament like last night where this deck ended up winning. I'm not a big fan of the deck. It can break. And then if they have counters, you lose. 
Um, yeah, battle losses like Senti Scorch, Crosslayer, Ola, muchas gracias por estar por aquí. So, meh, not a big fan. Yeah, not a big fan. Big props to the winner of the tournament. Um, Edge, TCG, I think his name is. Um, but yeah, moving on. I don't enjoy playing these sort of decks. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, I will be. I will be right back after this quick commercial break. <laughs> 